Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about this video because I just did uh, the five day keto egg fast last week and I wanted to share with you guys what to do after an egg fast. Egg fast done, complete, now what, right? So I'm going to be sharing with you exactly what works for me personally and what you should be doing after your egg fast too. So let's go. All right, guys, before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. It's completely free and it helps me to grow my channel and to reach so many more people to help inspire them to get healthy. Also, give this video a like and comment below because it helps boost the algorithm. It lets YouTube know that these are the videos that you guys like to see. And last but not least, join my support group on Facebook, The Shrinkables. We would love to have you over there. A bunch of great people. All right, guys, let's go. All right, so what do we do after an egg fast? That is the big question, right? So we're, we did great. We managed to get through the five days or more or less. You did an egg fast. Fantastic. You lost some of that weight that you've been holding on to. Awesome. But now what? We don't want to gain the weight back, right? We don't want to put that water weight back on. And the keto egg fast is a zero to little carb lifestyle. So when we add carbs back into our lives, even if they're healthy carbs, if we do it too fast, we are going to gain gain some of the weight back, if not all, depending on how careful you are. That is something we want to prevent, right? We don't want to do that. We worked hard. We managed to get through it. We ate eggs, eggs, eggs every single day. We don't want to do it for nothing. So this is what I personally do. I very gradually add carbs back into my life. So I do the keto egg fast for five days and then for at least two days I do carnivore. If you are unsure of what carnivore is, it is the meat diet. It is meat, fish, eggs, and dairy. That is it. No plant-based foods at all. So carnivore is what I like to do for at least two days. I keep it zero carb for at least two days to allow my body to just get back into eating foods other than eggs, butter, and cheese, but not to jump back into those those carbs. You can do carnivore for as long as you want after an egg fast. I just like to do at least two days. I am going to be showing you two days of transitioning from egg fast to carnivore and then one day of transitioning from carnivore to keto and what I do to stay low as low carb as I possibly can to keep that weight off but you can do carnivore for as long as you want. I am gonna be doing it longer than two days this time because I'm feeling motivated and I'm not missing my veggies as much as I have in the past. So right now I'm gonna be showing you everything that I eat for the two days following the egg fast and everything I eat on the day that I transition into keto. So let's go. Hey guys, happy first day of carnivore, first day of not doing the egg fast. I am about to get dressed to film another video, but I just wanted to share what I am having for my first meal. I'm pretty much excited to eat anything other than eggs, butter, and cheese, right? So uh, today's first meal, it is uh, 12 o'clock, and I had my Skinny Brew uh, coffee this morning, of course, as iced coffee, and my first meal, I'm just keeping it very simple. I made a can of tuna with some cheese. This cheese is hot jalapeno and habanero jack cheese. I think I said that right. Uh, shredded cheese that my husband picked up for me. It's got that spicy kick and I love a good spicy kick. So I mix that together uh, with about a tablespoon of mayonnaise and that is what I am eating for my first meal. Now, sometimes the first day following an egg fast, uh, for my first meal, I will have exactly what I had on the egg fast. I'll have like a chaffle egg sandwich. Um, <laughs> usually don't have like fried eggs or scrambled eggs or anything like that, but I will probably have chaffles. Today, I was not feeling it. I just did not want any part of what I ate uh, for the egg fast. So that is why I'm sticking with tuna. But that is actually a really good idea. Um, if you can stomach the eggs, try to have your first meal eggs, butter, and cheese because it's going to make that transition even smoother. So if you can do it, 
more power to ya. Like I said, anything uh, pretty much tastes good other than eggs, butter, and cheese when you're coming off the egg fast. So I'm excited to get started on carnivore and I will let you know uh, what I eat for the rest of the day. All right, guys, I just made another Skinny Brew iced coffee, um, but I just wanna kind of munch on something right now. And I just bought these yesterday at Walmart, uh, Max Red Hot pork rinds. And I've never tried the Red Hot. I tried, what did I try? What was that? I've tried the barbecue, I've tried salt and vinegar, I've tried plain, um, but there was another spice, oh, spicy buffalo, that was the kind, that was really good, spicy buffaloes, super good from Max. Um, these are red hot. Now, I have been on a spicy kick with like everything recently. If it's not hot enough, I'll like add red pepper flakes into it. Yeah, spicy kick. So I've never tried these, so I'm gonna try them right now. I'm not gonna have a lot, I'm just gonna have maybe three uh, pieces because I just wanna watch the sodium too. Plus this is Dirty Keto, Dirty Carnivore. Um, this one has dextrose in it and that can definitely um, affect you. So just make sure to read the ingredients too. Um, so this is definitely a dirty food, but I'm gonna try them because I'm curious how they taste. Let's go. All right, got the bag open. Okay, let's try them. Mmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> There's the spice. Mmm, I like the flavor. That is really good. Mmm. I like that flavor a lot. Yeah. Mmm. It's not too hot either. The spice just kind of got me in the right spot there, but it's got like an after spicy kick. It doesn't happen right off, it happens after, but. Mm. Mm. That's really good. If you like, oh yeah, this one's spicier. Actually sort of tastes like barbecue. Maybe it's like a, like a red hot spicy barbecue. That's what it tastes like. Kind of tastes like barbecue. Really good. All right, I'm just gonna go have a couple more of these and drink my coffee. All right, guys, so it's just about time for my second meal slash snack. And I am actually having chaffles. A couple cheesy, crispy chaffles. I had some chaffle mix uh, still left over from the egg fast, so I didn't want it to go to waste. So I'm just having a couple chaffles with nothing on them. So just the crispy chaffles. So yeah. That's all I'm having for a snack right now. And it's like three o'clock and I'm still drinking my skinny brew. So yeah. Yum. All right guys, so I just had my dinner settling in for the night. And for dinner, kept it super simple, super basic. I had my favorite chicken. I just fried it in some olive oil and I season it with salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and paprika. It's my favorite way of cooking chicken. I cook it until it's like a little bit crispy and I just love it. It just tastes really good. And I cooked a bunch. I actually cooked two chicken breasts um, and I have a bunch left. So I put that in the fridge and I will probably have it as a snack for tomorrow. Um, and I love cold chicken. My husband does not. He thinks I'm gross for eating cold chicken. I will literally eat anything cold. Seriously. I'm not picky at all. I also had like one and a half ounces, maybe it was like one ounce of pepper jack cheese. It was like an hour before dinner, just kind of felt like snacking on some cheese. And so that's what I had. So that was my day of carnivore, first day after the egg fast. It was a success. I'll see you tomorrow. All right guys, so second day of carnivore and I got on the scale this morning. I am still 225, so I managed to keep the weight off that I lost, the seven pounds that I lost by sticking to carnivore yesterday and uh, doing carnivore again today. And for my first lunch, it's uh, almost 12.30 right now. I had my Skinny Brew coffee for uh, breakfast, my iced coffee. I am actually going to be having bacon and eggs. So really wanted bacon. First, let's just have a have a taste, yeah? I wanted bacon big time on the egg fast and wasn't able to eat it. I'm eating it now. Oh, 
Oh yeah. That's good. <laughs> the egg fast definitely makes you appreciate other foods. Mm. Mm. I need a minute. So I am having eggs with it, cheesy scrambled eggs. Um, not my ideal choice to have uh, during carnivore, just finishing an egg fast. Obviously, we don't really wanna eat eggs, but you know what? It's a healthy fat, healthy protein, and I don't wanna just eat bacon. So yeah, bacon and eggs for my first meal today. Mm. Mm. All right, guys, so I just got home from shopping with my mom and my amazing hubby cooked dinner tonight and he cooked steak. I have about four ounces of steak here and that is what I'm going to be uh, eating for dinner. Also on the ride home, I did have a few pieces of this extra sharp cheddar uh, chunks. I never realized that I liked extra sharp cheddar, but I do, it has sort of like a tangy taste to it i don't know maybe tangy is not the right word but really good so i had a few pieces of those on the ride home for my snack uh this afternoon before i left i just had a mozzarella cheese stick and some slices of pepperoni so yeah second day of carnivore is done if i have a snack tonight um, i'll probably have some of those uh red hot pork rinds that i had yesterday and uh yeah so i think i'm gonna do another day of carnivore and then transition into keto but the next day that you're gonna see is the transitioning into keto so see you in a bit all right hey guys so i just finished my workout and slapped on a little bit of makeup because you guys didn't need to see what was going on there yeah so now is the time to start transitioning into keto you guys saw two days of carnivore i actually did three days of carnivore but before we get into my keto day i just want to share i ended the egg fast last week at 225 and then started carnivore and the first day i maintained like i said so I stayed 225 awesome and then i weighed myself after my second day of carnivore and i was 224 so i lost another pound this is why i say always make sure to jump right into carnivore right after the egg fast because you may take off some more weight which is a really good feeling so i actually did three days of carnivore weighed myself again this morning and still 224 and now is the time to start transitioning into keto you want to do this gradually you do not want to jump right into carbs because you're going to gain some water weight back so if you want to do this right if you want to keep the weight off start to transition slowly so I had my skinny brew coffee uh, this morning, uh, of course, every single morning, and it was about 12.30 by the time I started to get hungry, so I just went with uh, a typical carnivore uh, lunch. I just went with a can of tuna mixed with mayonnaise and that cheese that I used before, uh, hot jalapeno habanero jack cheese is that it anyway spicy kick love it and i love mixing cheese in with my tuna just gives it a, a little extra taste um but today i actually added four slices of cucumber uh cut up i love the crunchy taste of cucumber with my tuna and um, yeah, just slowly getting back into those carbs and keeping it healthy. And that is what I had for my lunch. Now, what I've done in the past also, uh, when I'm transitioning into keto, is just do a full carnivore lunch and then slowly add those carbs back in for just dinner. And then the next day, do it for both meals. So you can do that as well if you wanna just stay carnivore for your first meal or your first two meals if you don't do intermittent fasting, and then just do a little bit of carbs for dinner. So that's an option as well. The key is to just gradually do it so your body doesn't go like, whoa, what are you doing to me right now? You just starved me of carbs for how long now? And now you're feeding it to me. I don't know what to do with them. So you just want to gradually add them back in. So that is what I did. Added four slices of cucumber. And yeah, I'm about to go make another coffee. And I will meet you back here for dinner. I'm super excited to make dinner tonight because I haven't had it in forever and it's one of my favorite meals. So see you in a bit. All right guys, so I am about to make dinner. Like I said, I haven't had this in a while and I used to make it all the time uh, back in the Atkins days and I haven't made it in months. I. I think I did make it in this weight loss journey though, but it was like last year and or two, uh, 2020. It's been a while. So anyway, we're gonna make it. Uh, we're gonna make Rotel. It is super simple. It's only four ingredients. 
So it's one pound of ground beef, one pound of sausage, eight ounces of cream cheese, so a block of cream cheese, and a can of Rotel tomatoes. So I usually do uh, regular sausage, but today I have hot sausage, so it's gonna be a little spicy. They did have hot Rotel, um, but I just did the original. So it is very simple. So we're just gonna go ahead and cook it now. All right, guys, so all we're gonna do is just brown the beef and the sausage, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Never mind my pots and pans. We are in desperate need of some good kitchen stuff, but whatever, we're just dealing with it. We are heating this up now. And of course, you can hear our swing downstairs. The kids are swinging down in the basement. Yeah, it's very loud. I'm using hot Italian, whoa, <laughs> hot Italian ground sausage. And I used to use Jimmy Dean regular sausage. That is what I've always used. Uh, but we're gonna try hot sausage this time. All right, so this is done, and the next thing we're gonna do is just drain the excess grease, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, now we have the block of cream cheese that we're just gonna add to it, and I just kinda break it up into chunks a little bit. I did, I did warm it up uh, for like 30 seconds just to soften it up. Make it easier to melt right through. Seriously, the easiest recipe ever. And you know me, I like simple. And then we're just gonna mix this through until it melts. And this is pretty much all very little carb uh, with the exception of the cream cheese and the Rotel. The Rotel only has uh, seven net carbs for the entire can. So while we're transitioning back into keto, um, obviously I'm not gonna eat this entire dish. <laughs> so it's only gonna be a portion of it. Um, just, you know, adding those carbs back in, but just doing it slowly. And that is what we're doing. So just make sure this is all melted. All right, that looks pretty good. And then we're just gonna add the Rotel. <laughs> And then I'll just cook this for a little bit longer just to warm up the tomatoes a little bit. And that is it. So that is seriously how simple that is. I love simple and that is def definitely a simple dish. So I eat it just like that, um, but you can actually put it over some uh, cauliflower rice or you can make uh, keto egg noodles. My husband likes to make it as a sandwich uh, with some mustard. So you can use keto bread um, and just make it as a sandwich. You can seriously have it uh, so many different ways, but I just eat it plain. It tastes so good. I'll probably have like a cup of it tonight uh, for dinner and then I, I am going to have it for lunch tomorrow. So I'm not gonna be filming my keto day tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's just gonna be a regular keto day and I won't be filming it because I have a ton of what I eat in a day videos um, up on my channel. So I will put the playlist of those videos at the end of this video so you guys can just click on it because I show you everything that I eat on keto. So tomorrow I'm gonna have that for lunch and then I'm just gonna have a regular keto dinner uh, with a meat and a veggie. I'm gonna do some sauteed zucchini and summer squash. Super excited about that. So that is it. That is my day of transitioning back into keto. Hope you guys liked it.
All right guys, there it is, my video showing you exactly what I personally do after the keto egg fast, what I eat for carnivore and my day of transitioning into keto. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give me a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and join my support group on Facebook, The Shrinkables. We would love to have you over there. All right guys, stay safe and choose health. I will see you at the next video. Bye guys. Also join my support group on Facebook, The Shrinkables. Also join my support group on... <laughs> also join my... It is eggs, fish... Love mixing tuna... Love mixing tuna in with my cheese. Well, that too. The... Hot jalapeno uh, jack, no wait, is that right? Not jack. What's it called? Hot jalapeno. What's it called? All right guys, there it is. All right guys, there it is. <laughs> there what is, I don't know. All right guys, there it is. <laughs>